Lakeside Dental Clinic, Go Island, is brought to you by Lakeside Dental Clinic. We're here at Vancouver Island University where the visual arts students are ready to launch Progressions, their year-end exhibition show and sale. But what does a steamroller have to do with art? 40 dogs on a log are smiling for Haven. Orca runners enjoy one of the most beautiful courses in the area and salmon in Lake Cowichan. What does a steamroller have to do with art? Well, they are making a wood block print with a steamroller. We're going to show you that later on this edition of Go Island. We just kind of hidden in out of the rain. It was a sudden downpour here on Friday afternoon. When it comes to leaving an abusive relationship, owning a dog can be an extra challenge. There are resources in place that can help make that easier. And there's a local dog walker who is doing everything she can to support people in that situation. Here's Kelly Robinson. This is Gregory Ball. He is a professor in the visual art department up here at Vancouver Island University. What did you guys just do? So we just did an amazing thing. We just did a four by eight foot wood block with a steamroller. For the Amazing. purpose of? <laughs> For the purpose of celebrating our first year of our BA four-year major here in the visual art department. Okay, so this is the first time that students have graduated after a four-year term. Correct. And what does that mean for that their careers, means, for their lives? Well, that means obviously a lot of things. It means that they have a lot of things to look forward to. Lots of, you know, opportunities, of course, in uh, arts and culture in terms of jobs which is always a good thing to have, right? Arts and culture and jobs. So they're going to be kind of job ready, I think, after, you know, like the four years with us. Um, and it also means that they've spent four years here and um, gleaned everything that they possibly can from their props and from each other. Excellent. Now, yeah. um, Progressions is their year-end exhibition show and sale. Correct. What can you tell me about the things that people can see? Okay, so the Progressions exhibition has a variety of all sorts of different work. We have work in the art building, we have work in the gallery, um, all sorts of different disciplines. So we have printmaking and photography, we have painting and drawing, we have sculpture, we've got a myriad of other kind of different works that are combined. So we've got a lot of contemporary work kind of going on too. Excellent. Okay, now yeah. I think they're getting ready to do another print. They are they? getting okay. ready to do another print. Now you're going to set me up with a student later on in this yes. edition of Go Island and we can yes. figure out what the print is yes. and have a closer look at that. Yes. And there's someone over there going, it'll be me, it'll be me. We will talk to you later. We're going to have a short break now. Nearly two decades of Oceanside running and fitness with Orca, bunnies, bunnies, bunnies at the SPCA Salmon Exploration in Lake Cowichan. It is pouring outside. We've moved inside to Building 330 at the Vancouver Island University campus and this is part of Progressions, the year-end student exhibition and sale. It's in, over the entire building and over at the Nanaimo Art Gallery on campus and you can come check it out for yourself. It's running to the public until May the 28th. Now there's a, a girl standing over there looking at some art. That's Todd's daughter. Bring your daughter to work day, I guess it is today. Is that right, Todd? Yeah. Awesome. She's enjoying herself very much. Well, it's pouring outside today, but that wasn't the case last week when we spent some time with the Orca Runners. Orca is hosting their Oceanside Mother's Day 10K on Mother's Day. That's coming up on May the 10th through beautiful Rath Trevor Provincial Park. And there are many ways that you can register. Best uh, approach to take is check them out online, www.orcarunning.ca. Now, we did see a few rabbits while we were running around Rath Trevor Park, literally running around the park. Um, and you probably heard of a very unfortunate situation in South Nanaimo recently where lots of rabbits were seized, not living in favorable conditions conditions at all, well, there is light for those rabbits, most of them, at the end of the rabbit hole.
This is Arielle, and she's just graduated from the four-year visual arts program with a with specializing in. A vi um, I graduated <laughs> with a, um, a visual arts major with an emphasis in printmaking. Now you seem pretty really, pretty wired right now. What what have you got all over your hands, and what's going on? Um, I just finished doing the um, woodblock print that we've been working on for the last uh, about four months. I have oil-based ink all over my hands. It's quite hard to get off. And Are you worried about it at all? No, I live in, in mess. That's what artists do, so <laughs> I'm not too worried about it. Um, I, uh, am, I'm wired with um, adrenaline right now. <laughs> so how did, did the rain throw a wrench in things for you? or A little bit, but we worked through it. Normally, we would prefer to have uh, a dry surface, but uh, it didn't seem to affect the print at all, so that's good. Now we're going to get into some of the details of the print in just a minute, but why are you so wired? What adrenaline is running through you right now? Just the fact that we had to keep inking it so quickly and that it was raining and that we were worried that the, um, that the vic viscosity of the ink was going to um, go wrong because it was cold out. It's better to work when it's warm right. um, and it's dry. And it is very wet and very cold, but you're happy with the results. Talk to me about what happened. Oh, I'm very excited about the results. It was uh, so full of life and um, we were able to do three prints and that's awesome. The last one came out the best. Um, it did get a little dirty around the edges, but that just adds to how amazing it is. So. And tell me about the images depicted here. So we did a, um, a collaborative work. Um, everybody kind of worked together I'm not completely sure right now about um, what everything was called, but basically it was like life and death. So on one side you have um, the life up here, time, and then it moves down into um, decay and disease. As you can see, there is the um, death mask of the plague. Sort of lingering and yeah, uh, anchoring almost. It's, it's emitting germs and oh. then it goes out and into the rest, and that's why it's uh, the bones in the middle and whatnot. Now, what's next for you? Do you have a job? You staying in Nanaimo? What are you doing? Actually, I've just recently opened up a business with a partner, Nevin Arnold in Ladysmith, and it's called Mr. T Graphics and Screen Printing. We do t shirts and um, we do all kind of commercial printing as well as our own. So uh, t-shirts, sweatshirts, tank tops, give us a call. Excellent. <laughs> Ariel, thank you. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. <laughs> love the energy, love the adrenaline. We're going to head down now to Lake Cowich and maybe calm things down a little bit with some salmon. Here's Daphne Good. That brings us to the end of this edition of Go Island. You know, there's cake. There's always cake at a celebration. And this is the year-end celebrations for the visual arts students here at VIU. You can check out Progressions 2015 for yourself running through until the end of May. And Veronica was around somewhere because she's got a piece of cake for Todd. Thanks for watching Go Island. We'll see you next time. Lakeside Dental Clinic Go Island is brought to you by Lakeside Dental Clinic, a division of the Vancouver Island Implant Centre, delivering dental services, including dental implants and sedation dentistry, all under one roof. Clothing supplied by Catwalk Fashions, Kate's hair and aesthetics provided by Maffeo Salon.